Hi, this is Evan Lewis again, and this time I've got a little bonus video for you. It's only about three minutes long, but I thought it worth recording. I have a lathe, and I've got a small milling attachment for it, but um, when I have to do um, milling operations, I have to think up some kind of a managed, imaginative way of doing it. So this time I used my pillar drill, and I used it to make a curve. Now, these are circles, actually. The table on this pillar, mill, pillar drill is round and you can rotate it around a central point so you could use that as the a, as a, uh, access point of, of any kind of curve and position the vise in different places on the table in order to get different radius curves. In this case I used a bigger radius by using the pillar itself. It's a round pillar rather than a square pillar drill and that meant that I could take the table and rotate it around as I'm cutting to make a curve and that's what I did in this video. I'm going to mill a curve along this edge using the pillar of the pillar drill as a radius point. So I'll make a curve of about or almost 25 or 30 centimeter radius around that curve there. Just want to take some meat off it to make it a bit lighter because these uh, need to balance a bit better. And I didn't feel like hacksawing it, was so I decided I'd try this. I've done one actually, it worked out quite well. So I've got it in the other side there to balance the, the vise because the vise tends to pivot this way and they're both the same size, so I can balance them up like that. Yeah, muffs on, glasses on. That's finished. 